Okay, so first trick is more like a method to work with Rhizome instead of using Rhizome to figure out problems with our model. So sometimes when you export your file from ZBrush, that file can contain a really problematic topological space part of the model that simply prevent Rhizome from loading your model. And that appear as such a message. Uh, it doesn't mean that file doesn't uh, load in Blender or MeshLab that kind of things, no, no, no. Uh, but that means there's somewhere on the model a uh, problematic spot that is very complex and problematic meaning that Rhizome is not able to just open that model. And in MeshLab, we are able to spot that place as the non-man fault edge, our point. So in ZBrush you can use um, under the geometry mesh integrity check uh, model uh, to find those normal faults and fix them. And in theory that's supposed to help uh, to load our model to Ryzen UV. But it's not always a case. And let's quickly see if it will load it or not but probably it will. So just in case, uh, try to use that feature in ZBrush. Um, there it is, our model. Um, but let's say we are trying to figure out where that problematic spot is anyway. So let's go back to pro, uh, to moment when I didn't click that, mod, uh, that button. And we can use nice feature that is uh, selecting visibility. Because right now, when we export file from ZBrush, actually, uh, let's, uh, let, let me show you that on the on the other part of the model that I'm pretty sure it can load. Uh, when you hide something in ZBrush, that visible part of the model will be exported to Rhizome. So it's a really quick way to make inspection of the model. And for example, up here to spot any kind of problematic spots on our uh, 3D creation. So I can see because Rhizome shows topological problems with those orange dots that you can quite easy spot, but I'm gonna tell you about those later. So with that visibility, we are now know that middle part of the model is perfectly fine because it's loaded, right? So with that kind of workflow, we can pinpoint any kind of part of the model that contain that problematic spot. So normally I'm just gonna go with uh, show half, send to Rhizome. Uh, show half of that, send to Rhizome. And if I know that part of the model can load, then I just select that one and then further reduce till I found that really problematic spot that I mention all the time. So I am able to say it is somewhere up here, but as you can see in ZBrush, it's not so easy to, to even spot that kind of problematic spot, but there it is. So let's hide everything except that point, uh, opposite, let's show everything except that small point. And I gonna know, thanks to Rhizome, there's a really bad things happened. Because when we fix non-manifold edges, still we have a really mess up geometry up there. So that could be useful to find problematic topology overall. So as you can see, it loaded perfectly fine with that empty hole up here. So instead of fixing those problematic, uh, actually let's zoom in to see how that small point disappear. So check, we see we have three points, fix, and ZBrush remove it. But still, it's really ugly. So instead of that, we can just mask it out, uh, hide points, invert, delete, hidden, close holes. Uh, where's close hole? Mm, that will be easy in a mesh stage two, or maybe say, free, close holes. So yeah, just like that. Uh, so Rhizome can be useful to find 
a problematic spot of the geometry. But later I'm gonna show you how to use it even better.